Let's each take turns apologizing. Let's get negative part two. Friendship ending. I don't think I played. I'm not trying to say that. Me and my ex best friend. Oh, truth or drink? Oh shit! I'm tripping. I'm off the. Never mind. I almost said, I almost said some shit. Hey, we have boo back at it, man. Hi. Hi. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Tasia. I'm Bonnie. Hi, Tasia. I'm Erin. Who's that? I'm Tasia. I'm Bonnie. I'm Valerie. I'm D. I'm Erin. And I'm Jake. And I'm interested in this one. Ex friends. Ex best friends. Ex best friends. What's the current state of your friendship? Uh, um, we're not talking. No. No. Don't even like follow each other. Yeah. Anything, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you haven't talked in years? No. no. <laughs> How the fuck is Gitter, man? I really missed her, to be honest. So I think this would be a good time to sit down and have fun. Yeah, this is our first it. legal drink together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Cheers. Cheers. All right, first question. Tell me why our friendship ended. Can you just skip that negative. what I... No, bro. Because this is already like awkward enough and I don't... I'm it, fine. I think I just wasn't really there for you. You texted me and you were like, I don't want to be friends uh, anymore. It, it just like came out of nowhere and you told me that like I've changed as a person. At that time, I was almost addicted to drugs. Yes, I remember, yeah. because I told you about it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't agree with your lifestyle. And you're like, what? Because I'm I was like, doing what drugs. Lifestyle? <laughs> and I was like, I didn't even mention drugs. I know, drugs. OK, OK. But it was true, though. Yes, like, you were doing it every weekend. It was like really bad, Shit. like the point where I was like pretty much almost addicted. When you were doing drugs like every weekend, like back to back, I don't think this is good. But like, I don't want to tell you that. Tell me why our friendship ended. Say no to drugs, kids. Well, on my, from my perspective, Aaron, um, I got a random text from a acquaintance that I met through you. He said, hey, why did Aaron unfollow you? And then that's when I asked you, and then you went in on me. What does that mean? What did you say? In my perspective, it just kind of seemed like I wasn't making enough time for her. We also had a trip coming up in three weeks, and you were silent oh. for my 21st. Anywho. Happy 21st, though. I'm here now. Okay. What kind of toxic shit is that? In what ways was I a bad friend? I considered you a best friend, and when someone's my best friend, I view them as family, and I would never cut them off, mm -hmm. and I just want to work through everything. I felt like I always wanted to be there for you, and I always I like was there hair. for you whenever you hit me up and asked for help mm -hmm. about something, and I didn't get that in return, and that's what made me really upset. In what ways was I a bad friend to you? Lack of communication. Oh, shit. That might always be boyfriend or girlfriend. My opinion is it's two-sided and it was very much one-sided. But also, like, I, understand, like, I understand that you're busy. Mm -hmm. I know that we live far, but still. Like, you want a text. You want, you want some sort Once of, like, again. validation. We were going on a trip, and I didn't hear from you. So I canceled that trip without consulting Can we talk you? about the trip, please? Like, Let's talk about really. it. Really? We're best friends, right? And she wants to go to Vegas with just me and her. Okay, so what? You hang out with me alone. That's a whim. God that's forbid. A whim. That's a whim. What can I do better to make? Oh no. He's smart though. You gotta think about it. We're best. Sorry, Amex, but um, we're best friends. And you want to go to Vegas with me? You know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's the own motto over there. So. We're best friends. You want to go to Vegas? It's just me and you alone. So that means he's not interested in that. Cause I, I would if I was best friend and yeah, I would have took that shit. I don't give a fuck. I would have took that shit and um, we would have been fucking, you know. Yeah, we would have having sex. Make you and happier. Course. When we have a trip coming up in three weeks, message me and mm -hmm. let me know you know that it's happening. And I I'm spent like, one thousand one hundred plus dollars on these goddamn tickets. Money comes and, and goes. And I just now got it back. You got it back from him? No. No. She made it back. High five. I, no, I didn't I, tell her to buy the ticket. It was it's just like not reciprocated. That's exactly. Like I but mean like, I didn't but Aaron, I didn't ask you to do all that. Um 
Yeah, he's not interested in her. Do you still think about me? If so, you gotta be a are they good thoughts or bad thoughts? Bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think about you a lot. They're good thoughts. Most of them are good thoughts. We aren't friends for the very most wrong reasons. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think a lot of it was my fault, too, because I did kind of cut you off. I want to hang out with you more. I want you to come see my new apartment. So you come over today if you want to. Oh. <laughs> oh, shucks. Let's each take turns apologizing for the part we played in our friendship ending. If you think you played no part in it, take a shot. I don't think I played a part. <laughs> what? Like, what do you listen, mean? Listen, I played a part because I could end it. You ended it. I apologize for not communicating my discomfort in our friendship, and like, that's something I already worked this on. This is boring. Like, this, I mean, boundaries. Mm -hmm. this, did not these two are boring. Mm -hmm. I want to go so, back to the um, boy and girl. I apologize for being a bad friend, for almost being addicted to drugs, for joining a sorority, for being too much in the college scene, for you going to all those parties and raves. Basically, for not being there for you when yeah. I found other friends. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. A hundred percent know that, like, if you were to hit me up at any time, I would text you back or like I would answer your call if you ever needed me like I would be there is it my turn life is short can we just move on and be friends again if we're friends like obviously we can be chill yeah I ain't gonna lie to you none of, none of the girls that I was friends with in the past I wouldn't want to be friends with them they're, 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 they're some crazy motherfuckers they're um I've been through a lot of fucking um Female phase, f female that been through different phases. I put it like that. Yeah, it's yeah. It's been a lot of them motherfuckers. This it's been emo, been fucking. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. Have the sorority sisters. Right? I was never mad in the first place. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I the way that I. That nigga's definitely a thought. That way. Look how it's look I'm how sorry it's going. You feel that way? You did not just pull that card out. <laughs> I me. didn't. I said. I said. I'm sorry. The way that I acted made you feel that way. I was, I sucked at communication, I blocked, I lied, I canceled last minute, apparently. Let's hug, and kiss, <laughs> and make out. Fuck. So they, yeah, I'm gay, right? Good on Jane Jack, you deserve a friend who actually cares. She's talking about her, all right. I guess she wanted to be with him. He didn't want to be her. Exactly. She wanted to be with him. He didn't want to be with her community. She didn't communicate. With him. He didn't communicate those feelings. He's one thousand percent. He didn't say he know that's a problem. Yeah. She wanted to be with him. Yeah, it's, it's 2023 people. We gotta be honest about our feelings.